Hi, I'm Allison the Crocheter. And I'm Vivian the Knitter, and this is the Keep Calm and Carry Yarn podcast. Hello, and welcome to episode 127 of Keep Calm and Carry Yarn. This is a knitting and crochet podcast hosted by me, Allison, and my mom, Vivian. I'm coming at you from Florida. <laughs> And I'm recording from Michigan. You might know me from Pro and Plum, where I make and sell project bags for knitters and crocheters. And Allison is the fabulous pub publisher behind More, the independent magazine for crocheters. Thank you so much for joining us, whether you're listening in on a podcast app or watching us on YouTube. Hi, everybody. Hey. I'm still in Florida, and yeah. you're back home. I'm home now. <laughs> I'm still I'm in the same room as I used to be, but... This room has been completely um, emptied out and I'm moving all my sewing supplies downstairs into the basement, but the basement is not ready yet. It's, I still have to paint. It's a little echoey in here uh, because there's not as much stuff, <laughs> but this is temporary yeah. and we were running into some te technical difficulties. So the sound is not going to be as good because neither of our microphones are working. And, yeah, uh, and there's so some apologies construction going that. on upstairs. Oh, okay. Well, I just had had some TV noises going on out there, but <laughs> I told, told your dad to turn that off. <laughs> I um, I also have a different background. I've decided to flip things around. I'm, this is the mural in the baby's room that you and Emily painted, mm -hmm. which still covered. Did we talk about it on one uh, episode. Yeah, I think it was one of my FOs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's still covered in plastic. I don't think it needs to be anymore, but uh, um, I, does, I think Nelson still has to. Oh, the ceiling. Do the ceiling. He has to um, yeah. mud, tape and mud. So and then sand. Mm -hmm. So that that causes that makes a lot of dust. So I mean, I need to keep that clean. I see. Cool. All righty. Uh, will we jump into some crafty stuff? Sure. Uh, let's talk about our whips. Have, yeah, yeah, you have a whip, sweetie. I do. So the first one is my South Shore cardigan, which I haven't wor like worked on anymore, really. But I wanted to just <laughs> show you because I have a bunch of ends that I haven't woven in yet, and I didn't want to weave them in. Um, I mean, I don't really know if there's. I mean, I could just weave them in now, right? But I haven't. But what I've done instead is used stitch markers to. <laughs> like at <laughs> attach them to the work so they're not like dangling everywhere because they kept like getting tangled and since I'm working on the button band I've got the circulars uh, on that I'm working on and then I've got more stitches being held on another cord so there's just like cords and needles and yarn everywhere so I like sort of uh there was somebody in my craft night group who does something similar where she like winds up her ends and then uses like you know like the tiny tiny mini clothespins oh yeah like the wooden ones that you are like used for decoration mm -hmm. as opposed to clothes <laughs> she uses that and just like clips them oh. and then keeps them like secure uh so i've kind of done that but with just locking stitch markers and locked them to the work oh that works <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that's my my hack for the day um so you didn't actually then... get any knitting done on the the is it you're doing the the button band. the button band no. no i haven't because i've been i thought maybe i would finish this project while it was here but i'm only here for another week and i haven't touched it since i've been working on my next project because that one's been really exciting um maybe do you have any non more it yeah Whoops. i do i have Talk non, about... non more uh yes only one though uh, this is my okay. Velvety air wrap. So I'm yeah. on the fifth color, which is a medium purple. I think I oh, think I had already started it uh, the last time. Oops, there's the and yeah, I'm almost done with or I'm halfway done with the the mosaic bit of this fifth mm -hmm. color, and then after that, after the mosaic bit will be the the garter stitch with the six color so i am very close to being done what's the six color is it just a darker purple i think so <laughs> I think, yeah 
I think so. I, it's, 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 um, I think it's still in my backpack, the backpack that I uh, used coming home <laughs> from Florida because I haven't really touched it. And, mm. uh, but I have been knitting on this, not too much. Just a little bit. I feel like the, the purple and the teal are very you colors and like that, like the green in the middle. The, yeah, the bright green in the middle is like less so. Yeah. so. But I do, I do like, like a, like a lime green with purple. I do like that combination. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah that's, cool. That's all I've been working on other than our Mort Cal projects. I've been doing other things like painting and digging in the yard. Uh-huh. <laughs> Um, presumably for gardening landscape purposes and not just digging holes. For the <laughs> no, I'm not trying to dig to China. Uh, yeah, so um, one of our neighbors had offered up these huge bags of Siberian irises um, that she dug up from her mom's yard. And so we, ca we came home with the bag of it. Well, actually, while I was still in Florida, um, I mess mess messaged her back on Facebook, like, yes, please, I would like some. And she's like, just come and get it. So I sent your 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 sister and <laughs> your dad to get it. And they ended up with, I think they, they came home with half of it. I'm like, oh my gosh, she's gonna think I'm so greedy. <laughs> because I said, just grab a couple. So um, but anyway, um I ended Who oh, no, she she might have been there being like, oh no, take more, take more. <laughs> <laughs> no, other other neighbors um came around, but I think I was the first mm. one to actually say, Yes, 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 I want some. So mm. I ended up giving giving some to my next door neighbor because she never saw the message. Uh, so I was busy uh, planting those. And I also um, made a bed for some, just some perennials. Out, we, my yard, there's, you know, there's the lawn, the grass, and then next to the grass in the backyard, there's green space that's not never supposed to be built on. So even though that part is technically not my property, it's behind trees and nobody's ever gonna see me. So I turned, like I made a couple of beds and, and I, I planted um, some, or I scattered some seeds that I had been saving since last year from my purple coneflower and uh, black eyed Susan and some daisies. So hopefully I'll have some spring, uh, spring flower or they'll come up in the spring and flower maybe in the, in the summer. But that's what I, I've been doing. So a lot of physical labor, my back is kind of sore. But you know, it's like different different uh, muscles from when I was holding the baby every day. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, and I'm wearing um, my. I've already forgotten what it's called. Is that the Miserina? Yes, the Miserina. Uh, mm -hmm. Tea from I wore uh, it earlier. So good. Yeah. I think it's a little yeah, shorter than I would have liked, but definitely the green on the gray. It does have enough contrast, and it's more no like visible. You can tell it the the difference more that it, now that it's blocked. Mm -hmm. well, I'm very happy with this. This is the first day I've been yeah. able to wear it because we had a heat wave, so it was in the mid 80s the last few days. But today is a high going to be 70. Mm -hmm. well, I can wear it inside. Yeah. Um, cool. So more it. Whoops. Oh yeah, sure. We should. You should do that and uh, remind everybody yeah. what it is and how long it is yeah so we're doing the uh muret i've, I've called it a muret make along so a muret mal because technically there are projects in the magazine that aren't crochet because mm -hmm. i suppose you could do one of the other crafting projects mm -hmm. uh because there's like an embroidery project and um macrame and punch needle and then also there's a knitting pattern in issue five so it's a make along. Also, I like the alliteration of more at Mal, more at make along. Okay. But the Cal, the Mal, whatever. Uh, so make anything from any of the issues from more it from now to the end of the year. And there'll be some, I'll, have, I'll, I'll pick some, uh, a winner for some prizes and stuff. Um, so kind of working that out. But I am making Kishi, which is the vest from issue one that Sam wore, modeled, uh, and I have gotten decently far. Let's see, what have I got? There we go. So I've got the whole, the whole basket weave section of the back. Oh, nice. So this is the back panel, 
It kind of curves in, you can see on the side. Mm. Is that not part of the pattern? No, I think that side bit is supposed to be straight. Um, oh. I think with the decreases, so basically, because this is both the front and the back uh, have a sort of like triangle shaped cutout at the bottom instead of the hem being straight. In the back, that triangle is completely filled in with a rib. Mm -hmm. So, and then in the front, it's sort of like cropped. So there is a rib, but it's just, you know, um, the same width all the way along. So this is the back. So it's got a really tall, that's just the start of the rib. Oh, and okay. so that's why it's got a sort of funny shape. So I'm working on, the rib is worked sideways as like I a thought, lot of crochet those rib were, is. Um, I don't know why. I was thinking that they were um, just tails. <laughs> was uh, part of the rib. So, I see. So I yeah, see this now. is the back end. So yeah, the rib will completely fill in this curved area, which will hopefully net look more triangular as I work the rib. Mm -hmm. And if I still have this little dip in, I might just fudge it and fill it in with some of my ends, like just, I don't know, <laughs> make it look more filled in if it's still curving after I block it. Uh, but but yeah, no, it's it's working up pretty quickly. The rib I think will take a while just because crochet rib that's done sideways like this tends to, especially when it uses slip stitches. Mm, yeah. Um, nowhere near as quick as the basket weave. Also, despite the fact that this is a pattern in my own magazine, I, I realized as I was just finishing, you know, one of the sides um, towards the just before I started the rib, I realized uh, most of the rows were supposed to end with half trebles, but I was ending them with just regular trebles. Uh -oh. so, so I think it's fine. I think it's why there's, you yeah. can kind of see like, it's kind of wavy. Yeah, yeah it's kind of ripply because because it's post stitches. So because the post stitches worked around the post of the of the row below, it's shorter than a treble, which makes sense as to why you would end the rows with a half treble. Um, but I, I think we find, I what I don't know is whether or not I do the front the same or if I fix it. Hmm. <laughs> and this is, I thought, I was like, there's no way I'm ripping out all of this. <laughs> no way. Um, um, so I, I'll have to decide oh, what I want to do. There's a blue jay hanging on my screen. Oh, let me just run away. That was <laughs> weird. <laughs> um, so yeah, and again, I'm using Jameson and Smith lace, two ply lace weight in this sort of warm brown color and Rowan cashmere haze, which is a discontinued yarn. Um, in place of, I think the original pattern uses a alpaca silk yarn. Mm -hmm. um, so the cashmere haze is similar to that, but it's got cashmere and alpaca and wow. silk. <laughs> <laughs> and, and because it was discontinued, it was on sale. And I think I was, I was looking at how much like all the yarn cost me. Um, because... We use, I use like pretty nice yarns in the actual magazine and it can mean that if you want to use the same yarn, it can be quite expensive and not everybody's going to do that, you know, substitute it with cheaper yarns, but considering I'm using wool and cashmere and alpaca cost me 64 pounds for all the yarn. Oh, that's not bad. Which is not too bad, I think. Yeah. Um, I love my alpaca. We'll get it. I'll be right back. And I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, I am working on the Zani by Meribeth Cryan. Cryan. I don't know how to pronounce it. Cryan. C R Y A N. And I'm almost done with the um the, the shells. Yeah, the shells. Nice. That just sneezed. Um, and then, so I have to do one more, the, finish this repeat, and then one more of the repeat of the dark color, and then I can start the, the mesh up top. 
Well, I'm pretty pleased mm -hmm. with it. And it is it's kind of mindless, except with, yeah. you know, crocheting. You actually, you can't do it in the dark. Mm -hmm. uh, or, yeah. or, you know, it's, it's harder, it's harder to have a conversation because I have to actually look at it. I can't just like, you know, because when I'm mm -hmm. knitting, half the time I'm not looking at what I'm knitting, unless it's lace. So I guess this is yeah. like knitting lace. I yeah, I think I can... I can hold a conversation and like, especially the taller the stitches are, mm -hmm. the easier it is because you start the stitch, like you stick, mm -hmm. you stick your hook into the stitch. Mm -hmm. Once you've done that, you can do the rest of the stitch without looking. That's true. So the taller the stitch is, the more time you have to look not be looking at your work. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, but if you're just working like, you know, single crochets, double crochet. Yeah, you, you have to look at it. Um, okay. Yeah, you, you're looking a lot more slip stitches. That makes sense. Um, mm. So any, anyway, I, I've had to rip out a lot of rows because, you know, I for some reason I can't count to four. I don't know. I'll, I'll do like four triples and then you have to do a, a chain and then four more triples and then, then you come back with the other color and I'm like, oh, I did four triples and then one, one, you know, one more. So that, that was like uneven or I did five and four or something like that. So uh -huh. um, <laughs> I, if, if it's five and four, I leave it. But obviously if it's like only half of the, the shell, then I'd have to rip back and yeah. do that over again. So yeah, it's, a, it's a beautiful pattern. And I'm using yeah, a, um, nice as well. yeah, I'm using a um, um, cotton linen yarn that I got mm -hmm. from uh, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to wear this, though. With a cami underneath? Yeah. You're going to have to get like a like a blue cami. Yeah, or something. I don't have one. What color are you using on the top for the mesh? It's gonna the, be the darker dark. or the lighter? Dark. So whichever, so like, because the shells are The rows are different, like like the with the the, the, the light colors, there's more shells, and then for the the dark color, there's less, and can, there's there's half shells because oh, they're the offset. End. Yeah, because they're offset. Yeah. So whichever one you're doing, um, that's offset. That's what you're doing mm. for it. So there's not really more shells. It's just that one of the shells is split in half. Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> You back better than I can. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'm really excited about this. I'm I'm excited about starting the mesh, and then um, we'll see how my the neck is gonna <laughs> look like. I'm a little nervous about yeah. that. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Um, and I think I'll be able to finish this before the end of the year, and then I can start another project. And and since yeah. I, it's already. This will be a, a crochet project. I can I can knit Jeanette's um, <laughs> mittens. Mittens, yeah. <laughs> the, and not feel bad for not doing yeah. crochet for a crochet magazine's make along. Yeah, especially since this is bigger. This is a bigger project than than the yeah. Mittens, so mm. I, I won't feel guilty mm -hmm. at all. I was already <laughs> looking looking at yarn. Like, oh, do I have anything? I think I got enough of the the caithness. Mm -hmm. Is it the Mort yarn? I think so. It was um, uh, Castle Milk something. <laughs> yeah. Castle Milk Mort, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So uh -huh. um, I'm gonna yeah. think I have because I have two colors. But one is like one has right. alpaca and the other one doesn't, or one has more alpaca and yeah. the other one doesn't. I think, yeah, and I yeah, got a dark yeah. and a light, so I think I can use that for. Mm. The, and the mittens only have a very small amount of the. Second color. Oh, second color, yeah. Oh. Mm. So, yeah. hee hee. <laughs> Excited yeah. So, yeah, it's definitely not too late to join the make along. I've seen, I know, so Deb, one of my tech editors, uh, find me knitting. She's doing a uh, Lacritzi, which is also from issue four. Which one is the, that? It's, got, it's the one that's got like this sort of standing collar and then a uh, single color yoke and then stripes at the bottom. In the magazine, it's yellow at the top, and then oh, black okay, and white stripes okay, at the bottom. Oh, okay, okay, sorry. You had to go with the colors. 
<laughs> yeah. Um, I've seen somebody working on a low tide, which is an issue two. That's the one that's is a light purple, like short sleeve top with um, kind of these like arrow uh, lace mm -hmm. pattern in the yoke. Are they more like zigzags? I thought it was more of a zigzag. Uh, Maybe. Well, I, I always look, looked at them as arrows, but I guess because they're like repeated, they mm. sort of become zigzags mm -hmm. maybe. Um, but I think more like arrows. Uh, but that's the one, if you ever see me at a yarn show, I'm probably wearing that one. Uh, it's not the one that was actually in the magazine. It's another sample. Um, but because it's it's nice because it's nice and light and it, and it fits me well. <laughs> It's like you want to wear all your knits and stuff to yarn shows, but it tends to be warm and yeah. Uh, and I think I've seen somebody work on a pair of um, can can you uh, the mittens, the other mittens from issue five, the mm. the crochet the ones, crochet not ones. the knitted ones. The, the ones with the canvas. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that, those that looks. Yeah, I'm not gonna even try again. <laughs> My crochet skills just um. isn't there yet. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that, so those that's all I've been working on other than, you know, the DIY type stuff around the house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. Well, so yeah, definitely join us if you are uh, thinking about picking up one of the projects from the magazine. BuzzFeed, Chris? BuzzFeed, and um, mine disappeared. But you know what? I took a okay. picture of my results, so ha ha ha. Oh, okay. I was so you're going to remember what the options that you picked? I'll remember the options probably, but I would not remember that. <laughs> so I actually picked this because yeah. first time in absolutely ages. Um, and it is everyone's a combination of characters from Wednesday and Harry Potter. But which two are you? What did you get? I got a combination of Hermione and Wednesday. So did I. <laughs> You can read it. It's so it's so echoey here. Like my my um my voice sounds really weird. I don't want to listen. Mm. To it. Uh, so it says you're smart, brave, never afraid of a challenge, and always up for an adventure. You like reading books, solving mysteries, and getting good grades. People might think you're a bit of a weirdo sometimes, but you don't have time to worry about that. Who'll defeat Joseph Crackstone otherwise? How would Harry have found the Philosopher's Stone without you? You're very loyal to your two friends and would literally walk through fire for them. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, yeah I, I'll take I it. like it too, especially since um, the whole people think you're weird. You're a bit of a weirdo. Right now. <laughs> I think you're a bit yeah. Of a uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we definitely must have some answers in common. Uh -huh. The first one was to pick something to satisfy your sweet tooth. And I picked the chocolate brownies. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Although I was tempted by the cupcakes. Me too. Uh, favorite season? Fall. Same. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what would you wear to a party? None of those, but I picked the blue dress, yeah. the shirt dress. Same. <laughs> <laughs> you mean you wouldn't wear your Harry Potter costume? <laughs> Depends on if it was a costume party. Yeah. What's most important in life? Um, I went for having fun and being happy. I think that's what I picked. Pretty sure. That's how I Either that or having true friends. Mm -hmm. One of those two. I feel like if it was something about family, I might have picked that. Mm -hmm. But it didn't have anything. Um, I remember. Yeah. But I think if I were, that might be true if I was talking about like what's important in my life. Mm -hmm. But if it's just what's important in life, mm -hmm. I think, you know, some people's family, you know, you don't get to choose a family. So I think you can try and choose to have fun and be happy. Yes. Good point. Yeah. Movie? Uh, movie? Knives Out. Knives Out. Oh my god, are we gonna go for like a hundred percent? We've never gotten like the same, exactly the no. same. Uh I know. And then what would you want to receive as a present? Books. Books. <laughs> That's the Hermione in us. Okay. The last one. Who is your favorite Hogwarts teacher? Professor McGonagall. Oh, I went for Professor Lupin. <laughs> Okay, so we that was a nearly yeah nearly like ninety nine percent. <laughs> well done. Oh. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, do you that that tickled me probably more than it should have. But 
Did you, you did you watch Wednesday? I I don't remember. You yeah, yeah but I've it. seen it all. Yeah. Yeah. And then they're doing a second season, so I'm excited about that. Um, yeah. And I just finished watching Only Murders, all by myself. Oh. Only Murders in the Building. I don't even know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I um, the second the second season. Third season, second season, third season, second season. I don't know. Third. <laughs> Oh yeah, maybe third season. Right? No, third season. Third season. Yeah, yeah. Um, but they just finished. They just finished. They just dropped the last episode just a couple days ago. Oh, okay. Then I have. I'm sometime. not caught up then. This week sometime. Okay. Pretty sure you don't have an FO. Yeah, this is correct. <laughs> I do. I need another babysitter. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So I haven't put the buttons in. I'm just gonna put snaps. Oh, so cute. And okay. I think I might have some felt buttons I can put on there. Mm -hmm. Just so it's, it's just it's just buttons at the top half. Um, uh, the top yeah quarter whatever. Yeah. It's kind of like a Henley, uh, but but it's made so that you can have wear the buttons in the front or the back because the front and the back are exactly the same uh. because babies are just little blobs. <laughs> <laughs> They're little blobs <laughs> with arms and legs. <laughs> is that um, two yarns together or is it a it's, No, it's pattern. um I'll show you in a second. I'll show you what it's supposed to look like and then I'll tell you why I didn't make it that way. For for the listeners, what I'm seeing is blue, like a blue yoke and then green mm -hmm. at the bottom and green at the end of the sleeves and like a section in the middle where they're blended together, but I can't see how they're blended together. Yeah, they're they're actually color worked. Uh, I see. Together. Like little speckles um, where they fade yeah, together. So so they're supposed to look like this, this sweater, with um color work. Uh -huh. Um sort of like blending in the middle, like you said, but then on the bottom there's supposed to be trees. Right. What's the pattern called? Because Anders, sorry. Anders by Soaring Car. Mm -hmm. K E R R. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. The contrast between the two colors, they're mm -hmm. just, this wasn't enough. So it would have looked weird if I had the blue trees. Right. Was, I, you know, or, or even if it was green and then I had blue down here and the green trees, because it's uh -huh. just, there wasn't enough contrast and you wouldn't have been able to see. It doesn't trees. even look like there's enough space for trees at the bottom. Well, they're not very big trees. Huh. They're just tight, little, little, like little right. trees. Right. Okay. Like little Christmas trees. Mm -hmm. um, so I decided to just make it like um, pixelated. There's a there's um mm. there is a sweater pattern out there. <coughs> excuse me, called like pix pixels or pixelated. That's kind of like this, where where in between the colors you have color worked. Um, it's not quite. It's not faded because you're not striping it. You're just doing right. color work. Yeah. And so you have like just a little bit of green in the first row, and then. And the third row, you have a little bit more green until it until there's more green than there are blue. Yeah. So down here, there's before it's all green. There's just is it like blue. symmetrical or like the exact inverse of each other? Um, I yeah, I, it is. No, it's not. Sorry, no, it's not because I didn't. I obviously I didn't follow the pattern, so I kind of like I winged it at the, at the bottom. Ah, I see. And so then I decided to do that with the sleeves too. Because that, um, that, that'll be uh, is something for Boston? For, for it's for Boston when we're in Christmas. So this is, um, what, is what kind of yarn is it? Um, Malabrigo DK? Sport, mm -hmm. sorry, sport. But mm -hmm. it feels thicker than sport. Maybe, you know, DK and sport are so close. Yeah. We, uh, we put Quinton in the little cardigan that you made him today. Oh uh, yeah, the, the sock think. sweater. Yeah. That I saw. Fits him very nicely. He's finally growing into it. <laughs> so cute. Yeah, I'm really big and very round. I've only been gone for two weeks. Or I've only been home for two weeks. And he's starting to talk a lot he's, more. Like make noises. Yeah. Uh -huh. Talk. Air quotes, talk. Yeah. <laughs> and they, and um, his face is rounder, his legs are thicker. Uh, lifting his head up so yeah sorry okay that's not baby stuff <laughs> <laughs> we're all obsessed we, we all love this little baby it's ridiculous yeah. 
It's not ridiculous. Uh, it's just, yeah. Technically, <laughs> I sort of have an FO. I finished the sage shrug, but oh. I don't have buttons on it yet. So I might just wait until I'm at back home, have all the buttons, and then I can show it in its like full oh. transformational glory, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that works. And I think I'm I'm all done. I don't have anything. I'm obviously my shop is not. It's still open technically. There's still a few bags in the shop, but I am not making anything because there's. You have no studio. I have no studio. The yeah. downstairs is just walls and the floor. I mean, there's nothing there. It's still covered in paper and a ceiling. And a ceiling. There's no ceiling. <laughs> I mean, there's a ceiling. There's. It's not open to the elements. It's, no, it's not open to the elements, but we decided to um, spray paint like all the pipes, the, and stuff. the pipes and wires, and so that's like a kind of like a dark gray color. Mm -hmm. I didn't want black, so kind of like an industrial, you know, like those industrial right. cafes where they have they just spray paint everything. So that's what we did because I so instead just, of putting a ceiling up. Instead of putting a ceiling and the basement is the ceilings are high enough. So we can put a ceiling if we wanted to. So I told your dad, like, if you want to put a ceiling in later, I'm fine with it. Mm. Um, but right now it's just walls and floor and there's mm. not even any electricity down there. So like I had a, I have my, uh, a floor lamp, my floor lamp that I, I used in the studio. And I was like carrying it around the room. <laughs> there are two big windows, like on one yeah. side of this basement, and then but on the other side, there's no no, no lateral light. I mm -hmm. mean, you get some of the light from the windows, but then when you're painting, like you can't see, like you know, like <laughs> which you know, have I covered this part yet? You know, like the, for the second coat of the, the yeah. primer, it's like I'm like I don't know if I'm like painting over and over the same spot. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited to paint. This weekend because I'm painting color, not just the primer. Mm. So nice. hopefully, I don't think I'll have everything done by the next episode because I'll be out of town next week. <laughs> yeah, I was traveling so much. My poor cats—they're so annoyed at me right now. Your cats? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, basically sushi. She's very annoyed at me right now. Your cat? Because she's My your cat. cat. Yeah. My cat sushi. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well. Um, I don't have anything else to say. No. You have something to say next time? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's a hint. Yeah. Teaser. Okay. Big announcement next time. Woo! Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. I'll do the spiel. You can find the show notes for this episode and every episode on our website. It's kcacypodcast.wordpress.com. Our Instagram is also kcacypodcast. You can like, follow, subscribe, rate, review, favorite, comment, all the things on Apple Podcasts or wherever else you listen to podcasts as well as on YouTube. You can join our, our Ravelry group. Just search for Keep Calm and Carry Yarn Podcast in the group tab. There is a thread for the Bora Make Along and you can also post on Instagram with hashtag MoritMal23. So thank you for listening. And remember to keep calm and carry on. Bye. Bye. Sorry about the sound. <laughs>